Hey guys, it's Robert Ty here at Regan's Nissan. I had a question come up recently about the rear sonar and rear sensors on any of our Nissan vehicles. It came up specifically on a Qashqai. However, all of our Nissan vehicles now have this feature. It's part of our Safety Shield 360. But if you put a hitch on the back of the vehicle and whether it's a bike rack or a trailer, it's gonna cause you some issues when you go to reverse. So let me show you how to get around this. It's a temporary measure. You do have to do it every time that you get in because it resets every time you turn the vehicle off and turn it back on, but it will allow you to do what you're looking to do while you have that trailer on the back or the bike rack on the back. So let's check out what you need to do to get around this. It's very easy once you know. All right, so my vehicle's running and one of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the left one screen to the settings. I wanna go into driver assistance and the first thing that I'm gonna do, if you've got a trailer on the back or you've got a bike rack, you wanna go down to parking aids and you wanna turn off your rear sonar so it's not driving you nuts as you put it in reverse. Now we're gonna back out of this screen and go up to driving aids. You're gonna go down to emergency brake and you're going to turn off the rear emergency braking and we see right down here, this tells me that my rear emergency braking is disabled. You can now back up and the rear emergency braking will not kick in at all, nor will it beep at you as you're going back. And this is key because if you've got a bike rack on there or you've got a trailer on the back, you don't want it beeping at you and you don't want it hitting the brakes as you're going in reverse in this case. So you have temporarily disabled that. So now I'm gonna back out of this screen and go back over to our trip odometer. I'm gonna turn my vehicle off. And when I turn it back on, the lights flash, but you see it's no longer lit up. And all this tells me is that these features have been re-enabled. The sonar is likely still off, but the rear emergency braking is on. So we're just gonna check that again in the driver assistance, in the driving aids, under emergency braking. Sure enough, the rear, uh, rear emergency braking is back on, comes on by default but under your parking aids and the rear sonar is back on as well. Again, they do come back by default, but anytime that you put that bike rack or trailer back there, just go in and disable those and it makes life so much easier. These are great safety features within the Nissan Safety Shield 360, but they can cause some issues if you wanna tow anything or if you wanna put a bike rack back there. So Nissan has made it so that you can do that without these features interfering on the vehicle. Hope this helps in what you're looking to do. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'll do whatever I can to help and get you through the situation.